basically what we're trying to do is um, simulate lake effect snow bands um, to, uh, to better forecast them for, you know, uh, people such as us who live in the snow belt of the eastern Lake Ontario region. We're running a computer model, um, WRF stands for Weather Research and Forecast Model, and um, it's run at a four kilometer grid, so it's, uh, so imagine like a grid, like uh, boxes next to each other, they're spaced at four kilometers. And we're simulating a lake effect snow band in the model to see where it thinks it might be so that we could tell people, okay, at this time it's going to be snowing three to five inches an hour, you know, whiteouts, low visibilities, um, before this storm even happens. So as we all know, living on the eastern Lake Ontario region, Lake effect snow affects most of us. It can close down roads, schools, cause numerous accidents like we've seen on the throughway before. So what we're trying to do here at SUNY Oswego is run this model days in advance to give us a sign when the snow is coming, where it's going to fall, how heavy it's going to be, so that we can warn people to stay off the roads, you know, maybe close school, delay school, um, just so that people are safe in this region. I moved up here in 2001, and uh, I remember countless winters where we got buried under 100 inches of snow. Um, so really, it's in my blood now, the lake effect snow, and uh, it's just something I've always wanted to research, one of the main reasons why I came to SUNY Oswego. And uh, I've been able to take part on two grants, uh, one in my freshman year studying lake effect snow, and now this multi-million dollar one coming up in the, in the winter. So with this uh, summer's research, um, my professors and I found out that this model, which, you know, is just a computer simulation, basically a guess of what's going to happen, we found that it's scary accurate, that it predicts lake effect snow bands to within probably five to ten miles of where they actually occur which is unprecedented in previous years. So this is really groundbreaking research. So as a whole, I feel like this new Shinneman Center is gonna really help out with this lake effect research this upcoming winter and for years to come.